dangerous but beautiful female werewolves. Hi, my name is Christian Harris, and thank you for watching Marvelous Videos. There are several things about a werewolf that can make him or her appealing. Maybe it's their eternally tortured souls, or the fact that one full moon can turn them into a bloodthirsty beast. These traits, combined with the sudden rampant nudity, make them irresistible. Over time, the world of cinema has seen some multi-dimensional female characters, but none like the female werewolves you're about to see in this video. They have the ability to scare the wits out of you and still make you want them. Enjoy! Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Welcome, Father. We've been expecting you. A bag is something else. Sturba, The Howling 2, 1985. Sturba, from the second installment of The Howling, is a sorceress who is 10,000 years old. She is also the queen of the werewolves in her universe. Sturba and her beastie coven live inside a castle in the Transylvanian mountains. Born in the year 10,000 BC, Sturba has aged a lot by the 1980s and requires something called the blood of the lamb to maintain her beautiful appearance and youth. She is a bi-curious woman whose character was inspired by new wave eroticism. The members of her coven were so powerful that silver alone could not defeat them like they could regular werewolves. They required something stronger like titanium. In addition, she also had mystical powers with which she resisted hunters when they came to Transylvania to kill her. Sturba's hardcore demeanor, extreme powers, and breathtaking appearance make her one of the most loved villains in werewolf lore. However, in the end, she was defeated by her nemesis, Stefan, as he stabbed her with a titanium dagger. Lori Trick or Treat, 2007. Lori is a young werewolf who, along with her friends Maria, Janet, and her sister Danielle, lures men and kills them on Halloween night every year after they transform. She has superhuman strength and is surprisingly good at the art of seduction and manipulation. Although Lori was initially shy and self-conscious, when a vampire attacked her on Halloween, she defended herself, taking his life as his body fell from a tree. Throughout the film, her character is seen undergoing intense character development as she goes from being anxious, insecure, and vulnerable to a cunning and vicious werewolf who purposely lures a man into her trap. She does this so that she can devour him and lose her virginity after transforming into her true self. <laughs> Marsha Quist, The Howling, 1981. Marsha Quist is Eddie and TC's sister who lives in the hidden nature resort called The Colony with other werewolves. She is a nymphomaniac who likes wearing revealing clothing and is very comfortable with her sexuality. She is strong-headed and certainly not shy to get what she wants as she takes Bill Neal, Karen's husband, and devours him, turning him into a werewolf. She can also transform into a werewolf whenever she wants. Moreover, Marsha hates the idea of werewolves being domesticated and coexisting with normal humans in society. What makes her so appealing and such an enticing character is her strong will and confidence. Furthermore, she is also extremely intelligent compared to most people in her clan since she can escape burning buildings without so much as a scratch. Megan, Dog Soldiers, 
2007. Megan is a zoologist who was turned into a werewolf by the Uoth family, a clan of Celtic werewolves who later adopted her. Initially, she visited the Scottish Highlands to look for evidence of the existence of werewolves. Little did she know that she would soon become one of them. Despite being infected, she still helps the British Army Special Forces team capture several werewolves. She gives them knowledge of the area without them knowing where her true allegiance lies. Although she initially helps them, she later sends them to the wrong location when she discovers their true intentions. During this time, she gives the werewolves refuge inside a house. Megan is a strong woman who displays sound judgment and does the right thing, even if that means saving the werewolves. She is slightly sarcastic, which makes her all the more charming. However, once she discovered she could never leave the Uoth family and would have to remain a werewolf forever, she seemed slightly reserved and unhappy. She ultimately meets her demise when Sergeant Wells blows the house up during his transformation. Casey Spencer, Full Eclipse, 1993 Casey Spencer belonged to a vigilante group of police who called themselves The Pack. All members of the group were werewolf hybrids. When Casey met Max Dyer, she tried to convince him to join The Pack. She went as far as to have sex with him in her lover's house. While the two of them were making love, Casey transforms into a werewolf. After this, Casey offered Max a serum that could transform him into a werewolf. When Max refused, she injected him with the serum, forcibly morphing him. <laughs> Max and Casey then went on a mission together, getting into a shootout with a drug cartel, with the latter getting slaughtered. Towards the end, Casey's lover confronts the duo, but Casey eventually chooses Max over her lover Adam, after accusing the latter of sexually assaulting her. When the two leap out of the window, they both get injured, but Casey gives Max the serum so that he can heal instead of her. Casey Spencer is an intriguing character who develops over time, from using the wrong method to get her way to a humble person who sacrifices herself for the one she loves. Seraphine, an American werewolf in Paris, 1997. Seraphine is a lycanthrope and the main character of An American Werewolf in Paris. Born nine months after her father David's death, Seraphine moved from London to Paris since her other father, Alex, wanted a cure for her beastly heritage. Growing up in Paris, she had a relationship with a nightclub owner named Claude, who is also an arrogant werewolf. In 1997, Dr. Pigot, her stepfather, develops a cure. However, instead of healing her, the cure transforms her. Because of this, she kills Alex and infects Pigot. Due to her guilt, she tries to commit suicide, but is stopped by an American tourist called Andy. While trying to talk her out of jumping, Andy falls in love with Seraphine. Eventually, the two go out on their first date, which does not go so well. But when she finds out that Andy has visited Claude's nightclub, she immediately rushes in there to save him and his friends, because they have werewolf staff who prey on human guests. During the chase, Andy is infected and faints. When he wakes up, he and his friend Chris are terrified to learn the truth about Seraphine. She then begins explaining to him why she tried to kill herself. The duo then discover that the cure to lycanthropy includes a werewolf eating the heart of the one who infected him or her. Soon after a run-in with Claude, Seraphine becomes fatally injured, but Andy is able to save her by eating Claude's heart, the werewolf who infected him. In the end, Seraphine marries Andy. Sonia, Skinwalkers, 2006. Sonia is the only female member of her pack of evil werewolves, led by Varric. 
Once a human, Sonya had a terrible life. After Varric turned her into a werewolf, the two became lovers. Since then, Sonya has been devoted to the clan. One of their primary missions is to kill Timothy, the son of Varric and his ex-wife Rachel. Due to her hatred and jealousy of Rachel, Sonya takes it upon herself to kill Timothy. However, she is unfortunately shot and killed by both Timothy and Rachel in the end. Sonya is a strong-willed and loyal member of the pack. She is also a gorgeous woman played by the beautiful Natasia Malfe. Elena, Bitten, 2014. In her world, Elena Michaels is the only female werewolf to exist. Orphaned at a young age, Elena is an intelligent, kind, and honest person who applied for an assistance job to pay her college tuition. Here, she met Clayton, who was her professor before they fall in love and got engaged. When Clayton introduced Elena to his father, Jeremy, he ordered her to be killed because human beings aren't supposed to know about werewolves. However, Clayton chose a different path instead and bit her so that she would turn into a werewolf. This was a massive risk for both of them since neither of them had ever encountered a female werewolf. When Alina survived the bite, becoming the only female werewolf, she broke off her engagement with Clay because he wouldn't tell her why he bit her in the first place. She then moved to Toronto where she met Philip. Elena is a complex character who struggles to find balance in her life. However, she bravely leaves behind her painful past and embraces change in Toronto. Elena is a slender, tall woman with an athletic body and is six feet tall. She has blonde hair that lies halfway down her back and blue eyes. As a werewolf, Elena is physically stronger and faster than humans. She has heightened senses, prolonged youth, and can transform into a werewolf at her own will. <laughs> Nora Sargent, Being Human, US Version, 2011 through 2014. Nora Sargent is a werewolf who works as a nurse in a hospital. She was scratched by a werewolf named Josh during his transformation, which led to her becoming a lycanthrope. Initially, her relationship with Josh starts off rocky, but they later develop feelings for each other once they start working together and get to know each other. Eventually, the couple begins dating, but break up when Josh thinks that Nora cheated on him. However, she tries to patch things up with him, with the two finally making love in the hospital break room. Later on, Nora gets pregnant with Josh's child, who is a purebred werewolf. During this pregnancy period, Nora first sees Josh transforming into a werewolf and discovers his true form. When Nora realizes that she is a werewolf in the second season, she undergoes her first transformation to attack Hegeman, the person who shot Josh. Although she kills him, she is ridden with guilt and sorrow about her newfound condition, along with the miscarriage of her child. Josh therefore drops out of medical school to find a cure for Nora. After Nora kills another person called Will, who is an abusive man, she finally admits to Josh that she likes being a werewolf. After her transformation, she undergoes character development as she feels a strong connection to her wolf side. As a result, when she transforms back into a human being, she remembers everything she did when she was a wolf. Other werewolves in her universe don't share that same trait. What makes Nora unique is her enhanced powers and traits of a mutt. These abilities make her strong enough to kill defective vampires with little effort as the full moon approaches. Randy Wallace, She-Wolf of London, 1990. Randy Wallace was a postgraduate student from LA who was inspired by Dr. Ian Matheson's works. She worked on a master's thesis that included disproving several cultural myths and folklore. She enrolls at Matheson's University and began taking his class, finding him highly intriguing. 
When she's unable to find housing at the university, Dr. Matheson invites her to stay at his family's bed and breakfast. One night, when Randy goes out to conduct research on the moors, her tent is attacked by a werewolf. Although she survives, she is terribly injured and unable to recall the events of the assault. Later, while working late in the university, she undergoes her first transformation. When she discovers her new reality, Randy does in-depth research on lycanthropy and how to cure herself of it. Unfortunately, there are no promising results. After a series of chaotic events, Randy and Ian finally find the werewolf responsible for her transformation. They chase him in their car, but unfortunately he's killed. Toward the end of their mission, Randy and Ian became romantically involved. Randy is a strong female werewolf, dedicated to her work and always trying to do the right thing. These traits make her an extremely distinct and appealing werewolf. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.